So here we go. Now over for a stop. Here's uh, West Ham's go-to penalty taker. He scored in a shootout against Everton last season in the FA Cup. The whistles ring round. It is the first penalty of the shootout. And it's around his West Ham through and through. Mark Noble to take. Calmly done from Mark Noble. And West Ham are one up. No bother with that. Nice finish. Keeper made it easy for him, going the wrong way. Never in any doubt. Sent the keeper the wrong way, now it's time for Adrian. To try a little bit of mind games, and Harvard, the other goalkeeper, getting involved now, taking the ball off Adrian. So it is the captain, full finish. The Maltese international captain as well. He scored a penalty in the 3-1 win of Elysees in the last round. Superb penalty. Brilliant penalty. Adrian telling them to go to his right. He probably seen the penalty taken in the previous round and saw it go to the right and he's telling them I know it you can go to that side but for that two or three keepers in there they might have stopped it Maro Zarati the latest player playing for his West Ham future most likely at the moment in this European campaign Arthur committed himself very early indeed and it's 2-1 short run up didn't like the look of it but got plenty of power into the strike and through the middle when the keeper dived Arthur made that very easy indeed well on comes uh, Vito Plut the Slovenian striker with experience from playing in Belgium as well he came on for Fabrizio McCurley who had he been on the pitch, had he been fit enough to last the 120, would no doubt be taking a penalty here. I think they did well to get about 70 minutes out of Mazepos. So put from 12 yards. All square sent out down the wrong way. Not too brilliant penalty so far. Thank you, Karen. I'm sure many of the people who bought tickets for this game thought well it's a chance to see real Premier League talent live we normally have to watch it on TV they perhaps didn't expect to see a contest like this Cresswell he's got a wicked left foot on him excellent penalty right into the corner smashing penalty Great quality so far. How long can it last? Oh, but again, set the wrong way. A reminder if you are just joining us that both teams had a player sent off in the game. Man involved in that sending off for James Tompkins, Nicola Vukanats. That's his chance now to level it up. The pressure got to him. West Ham have the lead. I was about to say, Rob, that I don't usually like the look of centre-halves coming up to take penalties. And he's had a hard night. He's played well in the game, but my God, did he balloon that one over the bar. Look, it didn't just barely go over the bar. It went miles over the bar. It's a really poor kick from Bukanac. The Serbian centre back hits back to the centre circle. Joey O'Brien. Oh, that's not a bad penalty at all. Great penalty from Joel. 
There it goes. Looked like it was rising. I was just a little bit worried. Was it going to go too high? He got it right. Feeling even if Harper had saved that, it might have been retaken. He was well, well off his line. Well, they have to score this, Burkakara. 4-2 down in the shootout. And Edmund Agius perhaps only making life even more difficult and tense for himself here. This to keep Burkakara in European competition. He gestures to Adrian to be quiet because that was a spot-on penalty. Yeah, it's not a great penalty, but uh, they need it. They need a miss from West Ham now on the last one. Standard of the spot kicks has been good apart from the ballooned effort from Vukanats. Diego Poya looking to really impress this season with West Ham. Under Slavan Bilic having been peripheral last season. <laughs> Call as you like and job is done for West Ham. Diego Poyet seals a 5-3 shootout win, Brian Kerr. Yeah, just about got there. Uh, I don't think they covered themselves in glory with the performance. I'd say those players are very relieved. Don't now.